What is RELI Part 2? Describing the experience. Hello! Gray the Octopus here. Thank you for joining us in Part 2 on learning about RELI with Lathan. We really appreciate you wanting to learn more about this topic. But before we can continue on to part two of today's video, let's review what we learned in What is RELI Part 1? Receptive language impairment deals with how language is processed by the brain or the difficulty in understanding spoken language. Signs of RLI, inability to understand what is being said, forgetting parts or all of directions, difficulty organizing one's thoughts. Expressive language impairment is the difficulty in expressing one's thoughts and ideas. Signs of ELI, trouble for forming sentences, use short words or simple sentences, mix up or change the order of words in a sentence, trouble finding the right word, and will use placeholders when necessary, potentially have lower vocabulary, leave words out of sentences when talking. Continued, use certain phrases or words over and over again, repeated or echo parts or all of a question, use past, present, and future tense incorrectly. Thanks for watching the review for RLI. Now it's time to watch part two of the What is RLI series. So as I mentioned earlier on in the video, while a receptive expressive language impairment is a combination of the two impairments that I just mentioned up above, I pointed up, I don't know why, <laughs> they are a combination of the two that I mentioned earlier. And I must say that in my situation, it's very much a grab bag. When I was younger, a lot of these things applied to me. But as I grew up, and I learned more about the world, about myself, and I was given a very nice, healthy support system um, when I was younger. <laughs> so I just, I sort of learned how to interact with the world, and I had to learn how to interact with the world as a neurotypical would um, because growing up I grew up in the state of Virginia and they didn't see the language impairment as to put it something that they saw it as an issue with speech which in a sense it is but at the same time it's also mental because it's how your brain processes outside information and sometimes that information gets misconstrued by your brain and again you know it's it's it, it was a grab bag situation for me some things apply some things don't apply I think that's the same with everyone with a disability you know some things apply to you on some days some things don't apply to you on other days it's would it be a catch-22? It might be a catch-22. I don't know. <laughs> now, while I have told you about the symptoms of RELI, I'm gonna try to explain it better, visually, so that hopefully you can understand it a bit better too, and if you know someone who has any of these symptoms, or if you yourself have the symptoms, you could probably use this to help explain to someone else what it's like to have RELI. And I got this example when I was in college. I forget who told me this, but if you're watching this, thank you very much for this example. It's, it's helpful, very much. Alright, so close your eyes. Close your eyes, please. Imagine a table. And on that table, you have two stacks of cards. On one card stack, you have images. They can be images of colors, of 
houses, of people, anything that requires a physical image or even images of, of feelings. What you imagine a feeling to look like or to feel like. What a feeling to feel like. That's one stack. Your second stack, written out neatly in whatever type of penmanship you can think of, are the words and definitions and basic information that go with your stack of images, your first stack. Now they're on a table and they're right next to each other, all right? Take the first card of each and flip them over. On your image card, you have a picture of a puppy. And on your word card, you have a p you have the word puppy. They match. Now put the card at the bottom. That's normally what happens. Normally your picture will match your words. That's how it normally is. Go to the top of your package and stacks. Pull out the first card of an image. Flip it over. You see a picture of a camera. Now grab the first one on the word, pull it out. You see the word television. You know that the image is not of a television but of a camera, but the word you're given is television. So you put it down and you try the next card thinking that it will match. So you pull it out and you see the word computer. And it's not correct. You know it's not correct. You know the image of computer does not match the image of the camera that is in your hand. So you put the card down again and you try another time and you keep trying and trying and trying and you go through all these words that are like camera, but it's not camera until finally you pick up a card and it's camera. And by that point you've gone through about 20 words, some of which didn't even have to do with camera. You got the word picture once or photo or landscape, or portrait, things that had to do with the image of a camera, or even, not even a word, but more like a series of descriptive words, like you hold it and you go click, because you can't think of the word camera. And that's sometimes what it's like. Now keep your eyes closed and imagine you're feeling a great deal of distress or even a very happy emotion. Something that would normally take words out of your mouth where you can't speak. And you just feel that emotion so strongly and that's all you feel. Now imagine if someone took your table and they flipped it over and all your cards are everywhere, nothing matches up, they're all conjumbled into a giant space and nothing makes sense. You can't make sense of anything, all you're feeling is this feeling and no words are there. There are no words for you to say, there, you, don't even, you don't even know what you're feeling, you don't know why you're feeling it. You just know you're upset. You can't tell why. You might be able to understand what someone is telling you, but you can't say anything in response because all you're feeling is that feeling. And that's what it's like. And until you've calmed down and until you've put your stacks together again, your picture stack and your word stack and you hope and you pray, that is the same. Now sometimes, you, th you think you put them back in the right order, but sometimes your brain goes, we're gonna move things around. We're gonna switch your word stack around so that B, so when the word B shows a picture of a house or a flower, and 
sometimes it'll, it'll fix itself. It'll go back. And that's what it's like to have RELI or even to have an expressive language impairment. That's what it's like. And I guess receptive as well because sometimes you'll see something and you know what it is. Like you'll see a picture of a scarf but the word that'll show up is the phrase long warm snake because scarves are long and they're warm like a snake though I don't I don't I don't know if snakes are warm <laughs> but that was the only comparison that I could think of with a scarf or even the phrase you know it's long it's warm it wraps around your neck descriptive words words to describe the object that I'm seeing but not the name of the object itself and this video has gone on way too long, and I'm sorry. I hope this made sense to you. I hope you were able to watch this and understand it. Even with a script, I'm not entirely sure how well I translated this for you, but I hope I did okay. This has been a lot of information for some of you. And thank you. If you've, if you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for staying until the end. I guess I would normally have other things to say, but I don't. This, to be honest, this video did not go as I thought it would. I uh, <laughs> didn't really fully go on my script. If I did, this video would be a lot longer because I didn't put a lot of more information in my script. But as I said before, I'll have links in the description below to where I got my information from so that you, yourself, can read it over and take the information as you will. But I digress. Without further ado, I just want to say, take care, be safe, have fun, and you're loved. Goodbye. Wow, that was a lot of information. I never knew there was so much to learn about RELI. I wonder what the next Learning with Lathan video will be about. Do you have any ideas? Tell me in the comments below. And don't forget, oh wow, is that the time? Sorry everyone, I got to go. Gray the Octopus, signing off. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for sticking with me to the end of the part two series for What is RLI? I really enjoyed making this series. If you do want to see more things like this video, uh, please feel free to tell me down in the comments down below. And remember, please like and subscribe this video, especially if you want to stay up to date with all the new stuff that's coming in in the new year. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Bye!